these five tips or, or you know things that, that you can take action with immediately and uh, so the first one like first step back and think you know successful entrepreneurs are people that are looking to make money they have um, there's certain traits about them that you know they always follow through with what they're doing and you know they, they have this drive they're really driven to actually meet goals and you know they do this because they write things down they uh, they really strive to achieve goals and that really uh, that really is the difference between people that are, are successful and then people maybe that are mediocre or people that really constantly struggle with actually getting things done and I think these five tips um, will really help you in you know determining the direction you're taking and what you should be doing uh, to move forward and especially when you are starting a new year um, you want to start off on the right foot so uh, the first one you know pay attention to details man this is important like um, if, if you want to be successful in business and in your life you have to have to pay attention to details and these sometimes can be the, just the smallest things uh, when you're talking to someone um, just things to pick up on um, in, like in conversation and you know when you do this you really can have a clear purpose on you know sort of your next steps so when you when you take these details and most people um, I find they don't pay attention to fine details and it's a big mistake especially if you're talking to um, a client perhaps you're looking for for new business and those small details really make the difference if you notice uh, successful people will pick up on small details that most people may not pick up on and uh, when you when you bring up these um, these items to a client and you know you mention something small that maybe most people wouldn't pick up on it really makes a difference for them and they they understand and they see that you've actually picked up on that um, so really important to uh, pay attention to details okay the next thing you know keep a clear mind um, if you're scattered and all over the place you're gonna have a hard time actually getting business um, you know maintaining customers uh, you have to have that a clear mind and set your goals um, you know so you really know you know what your goals are for the day week month year um, you have to plan ahead um, also don't second guess your first instinct if your first instinct um, is to you know make a call don't put that off make the phone call uh, you know your first instinct is usually your best instinct so don't don't second guess that um, you know, if you, if you start second guessing, you end up going in a wrong direction and that sets people off on a path of negativity and, uh, and, the, and, and procrastination. Then all of a sudden one thing turns into another and they don't get anything done. Okay. So that is a big mistake. Can you guys hear me out there? Um, so the third thing, uh, listen to your senses. Um, you know, when you are talking to someone, really listen and look at their, their body language. Um, just because they're saying some one thing doesn't mean they actually mean that. Um, so, you know, be a good, uh, a good, uh, study of, uh, you know, personal space and also on how people react and, and sort of their mannerisms and things. Uh, it's really interesting actually when you, when you can pick up on these small subtle things um you know many of us have seen the old you know when your arms are crossed it's kind of a negative thing and you're sort of putting up a wall that's not always the case but in some cases it is and you can kind of pick up on that um, people wandering you know not paying attention this kind of stuff but it is interesting on different mannerisms and sort of facial expressions um, that you can pick up on and there's there's really good books and that you can or, or google it you can pick up on uh, people's mannerisms uh, but that's really important to, you know, be a good uh, student of uh, people's mannerisms, and that can take you a long way. Uh, the next thing, and really the fifth, is a you know becoming a uh, list person. Or sorry, the fourth, uh, become a list person. Um, you know, you'll get ideas throughout the day. At least I do, anyways. I get ideas throughout the day. I need to jot them down. Um, 
because if I don't prioritize my day, things can get out of hand. And I'm fairly organized and I still, you know, I need to, to make lists, prioritize those lists and stick with it. Um, you know, if you, there's something about, you know, having a list in front of you and you know you need to accomplish these things on a daily basis, um, you're going to get them done and you can't make any excuses. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's funny how when you, when you do write these things down, all of a sudden, you know, something else that maybe you started thinking of can cloud your judgment. But if you go back to a list and you can even, you know, keep it, I got my phone right here, but you know, keep lists on your phone, whatever is easier for you. If you need to write on a piece of paper or whatever, write it down and stick to that list and don't sway from it. Uh, successful people do this all the time and uh, it just keeps their life easier, especially if you're busy with, um, you know, kids and work and, you know, sports and, and you know, you got to run kids here and there. Um, you really need to prioritize your time and make lists and get things done. Um, now, the last thing really is to journal regularly. Um, easy thing to do, right? This thing's old and beat up. But, you know, when you have a journal, um, again, you write your ideas down for long and short term goals and you refer to them. You know, the nice thing about writing them down is that um, when you actually write them down in your journal, there's this sort of a, a sense of it happening or there's an anticipation that, you know, this is already planned and this needs to happen. And, you know, you need to refer to your journal on a regular basis. Um, and that you know will help you move forward and start getting things done stop procrastinating um you know and that that's pretty much it those were really the five i wanted to go over um you know whenever there's action when people take action it's really going to silence all the negative people in your life or, or just any negative aspect um action will always trump that um, you know, don't be someone that's a, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda type person. Um, you know, life is short and, you know, we're not here that long. So, you know, prioritize things. Uh, you know, if there's things that you need to do in business and in your personal life, write them down, prioritize things and get them done. Okay. Action always will trump anything. And that's pretty much it. So this is Michael Carter here. You guys can also check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash money mike com there's lots of great videos up there and i'm going to try and be doing these scopes pretty much daily usually around 8 p.m and they'll be the daily money hacks uh, at 8 p.m with michael carter and you can also check out my site at moneymike.com and that's pretty much it there's just short scope tonight and we'll see you all again tomorrow night